Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhavar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2021, Paper 1, Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. You may pause the video to read the question carefully. I hope you read the question very carefully. The crux of this question essentially is that the set S1 should be same as the set S3. It's because E1 is supposed to be equal to E3. E1 has three elements. So should E3 have the exactly same three elements. When you select two elements from E1 and uh, get S1, S1 will have two elements. That means E2 would have one element. And the same E2 is being used here also. Again, this S3 would also have two elements. Hence, for E1 to be equal to E3, if you think carefully, it essentially means S1 should be equal to S3. Now, this question is about conditional probability. Given that E1 equal to E3, what is the probability, or so to speak, the conditional probability that S1 has elements 1 and 2? So, this is essentially probability that S1 has elements 1 and 2 and E1 equal to E3 divided by probability that E1 is equal to E3. So first of all, let's find the probability that E1 is equal to E3. So uh, S1 can be 1, 2 or S1 can be 2, 3 or S1 can be 1, comma 3. So uh, there is 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 possibility of all the three possibilities. Now, if S1 is 1, comma 2, what about F1? F1 would become, if you see carefully, my bad, F2. F2 would become a set having four elements, 1, 2, 3, 4. When S1 is 1, comma 3, F2 would become since F2 is F1 union S1, 1, 3, 4. And when S1 is 2, comma 3, F2 would become 1, 2, 3, 4. Recollect that we have already seen that for E1 to be equal to E3, S1 is supposed to be equal to S3. Now S3 is chosen from the set G2, which is basically G1 union S2. G1 has elements 2, 3, 4, 5 and S2 is a set of two elements chosen from F2. Now, for S3 to be 1, 2, since S3 is supposed to be equal to S1, G2 should have 1 in its as its element. And since G1 does not have 1 in it, that means S2 must have 1 in it. So that means when S2 is selected from F2, one of the elements must be 1 and the other can be any of the remaining 3. So let's simultaneously also write the probability part. So in denominator, it will be probability that E1 equal to E3 and in numerator, it will be probability that E1 equal to E3 and S1 has elements 1 and 2. So for S1 to be 1, 2, since we are first talking about this case, 1 by 3 probability, F2 will surely become this. Now, uh, since S2 is supposed to have 1 as its element, so the number of ways or, or rather the probability that uh, you know S2 would have 1 as one of its element is 3 by 6. How's that? It can be 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4 favorable number of outcomes being 3 and it could have been total number of outcomes being 4c2 because any two elements could have been taken from these four elements 4c2 is 6 now as a result g2 would be what it will be 1 2 3 4 5 because g2 is g1 union s2 and since s3 should be same as s1 for s3 to be 1 comma 2 only the number of favorable outcomes is 1 and the total number of outcomes is 5c2 which is 10. And with s3 equal to s1, e1 will be equal to e3. Now let's go for the second possibility that s1 is 1, 3. 
f2 will definitely be 1 comma 3 comma 4 so for s1 to be 1 comma 3 1 by 3 possibility uh, 1 by 3 probability now again since s3 is supposed to be 1 comma 3 2 for e1 to be equal to e3 that means in s2 1 should definitely be part of s2 why because uh, g1 does not have 1 in it and g2 from which we are selecting s3 so g2 should have 1 in it so that means that 1 should come from s2 only so s2 should have 1 as one of its elements for sure and the other element can be anything so that means it essentially becomes uh, you may say 2 by 3 why because the favorable outcomes being 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 and the total number of outcomes uh, also involve 3 comma 4 so 2 by 3 so g2 becomes again 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 because g2 is g1 union s2 now for uh, s3 to be same as a, a s1 s3 should be 1 comma 3 so again the number of favorable outcomes is 1 and the total number of outcomes would be 5 c2 which essentially is 10 let's go for uh, another possibility uh, s1 being 2 comma 3 1 by 3 uh, is the probability for s1 to be 2 comma 3 and then f2 would definitely be 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 now again s3 is supposed to be 2 comma 3 2 so here 2 and 3 are already part of g1 and hence would surely be part of g2 so here any of the two elements from f2 can be selected as part of s2 however we'll make two possibilities why because if one gets selected in s2 that means g2 would have one also that means it would have five elements and if one does not get selected then g2 would have four elements only and that will definitely create some difference hence uh, the two uh, cases we are making here so one case is one is getting selected and the second element in s2 can be any other uh, of these three elements and the other possibility is one is not getting selected yeah so one getting selected what is the probability you may say uh, 3 by 4 c2 4 c2 is 6 so you may say uh, half and if one gets selected g2 becomes 1 comma 3 uh, 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and for uh, s3 to be 2 comma 3 so favorable outcomes is 1 and the total number of outcomes is 5 c2 which is 10 now if one does not get selected that means uh, you know any of the two elements of these three elements 2 3 4 should get selected 3 c2 3 divided by 4 c2 which is 6 so again half possibility in which case g2 would be what it would be 2 3 4 5 now s3 should be uh, 2 comma 3 only so uh, the number of favorable outcomes being 1 and total number of outcomes being 4 c2 which is 6 so basically we have covered all possibilities all cases related to e1 equal to e3 now in numerator it should be probability that e1 is equal to e3 and s1 is being 1 comma 2 so that means this first part that means this expression so uh, this is expression essentially becomes you may say 1 by 60 3 cancels out you get 1 by 60 now you can evaluate this upon evaluating it turns out to be 1 by 5 that's my answer thanks for listening stay tuned for the next question